Hi, Arroyo. I want to show you a quick tip that might help some of you in learning your belt tests. Um, we just walked, worked on this in our Zoom meeting with a few students, and I think it would be really helpful for a lot of you. So remember, you can go to Method Books, and I'm going to pull up High School Cadets because that is the exercise where I think most of us struggle the most. So I'm going to type in Measures of Success to find our book. And here's the first book. I'm going to move myself out of the way. It's loading. OK, move out of the way, Miss Mulder. <laughs> and I'm going to click open. And for now, I'm just going to leave it on alto sax. And the tricky one is number 4.14. So I'm going to click 4.14, high school cadets. And then I'm going to select open. So this is going to open up the exercise. Now, most students tell me that this is too hard in the beginning. So what I want you to do for starters, at the accompaniment, let's shut that off. Let's make sure that your part is on. This should be orange. If it's not, click it. That means it's off. Now it's on. Metronome is a good thing to have playing. But we're going to come over here to tempo. And instead of 100, I'm going to double click this. And I'm going to turn it down to 60. So that's way, way, way slower. Ideally, we would like it at 100 beats per minute for your playing test. Maybe a little bit slower would be okay. But let's start really slow. And when you're practicing, I want you to focus on the first note up to this breath mark and no more. When you can do that really well, I want you to speed that up to 70 and get really good up until that first breath mark. So let's listen to this. Nice and slow. And don't play any more than that. Just that much. And I mean like 10 times you're gonna play it at that tempo. When you can play it perfectly after 10 times, you can turn this up to 70 and do it again. When you get that up to 100 beats per minute, then I want you to start here. So let's say I'm going to start on this one and I'm going to go back to 60 beats per minute. And you're going to start here on this beat and play through to this breath mark now. Okay, and when you can play that accurately up to 100 beats per minute, start at the beginning and go to this breath mark. When you've got that down, then all you need to do is learn the second ending because these two notes right here are the same as the ones from the beginning. Do chunks, beginning to the first breath mark, and then start where you stopped, do the first ending. Do all of it except for the, uh, including the first ending, and then learn just your second ending and go through. It's really a good idea to practice in smart music so that you can slow these down. That tempo marking is a game changer for you. And then when you think that you've got it down and you're just a rock star, go ahead and add that accompaniment in. Okay, so again, I highly suggest that you use smart music. And then with high school cadets in particular, please make sure you pay attention to that key signature because this is not a key that we normally play in. All right, see you soon.